Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making instant pot minestrone soup. It is delicious. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. So my name is Kristen, and every single Monday, I share with you a new Instant Pot recipe. So today I am sharing with you minestrone soup. Now you can make it in your Instant Pot, or I'll put a link in the description for the slow cooker recipe. Now this soup is so good. I took it to a church activity, and it was gone in a matter of minutes. So I'll just warn you right now, if you make this soup, it makes a lot, and it is delicious. It's perfect if you love leftovers, if you don't like to cook a night, and it's very filling. All right, you guys, let's go to the kitchen, over to the Instant Pot, and make this delicious minestrone soup. So I'm gonna start by pushing the saute button because I need to cook my meat. Now, if you already have pre-cooked meat, that's gonna make this go by even faster. So right now, because it's sauteing, I put my meat in, and I have this little chopster. I will put a link in the description for you because this is my favorite tool in the kitchen. Well, other than the Instant Pot, of course. So I'm just gonna brown my meat just right inside of my Instant Pot. Now once it's almost all the way cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add one whole onion and then mix that all together just so the onion can brown a little bit while the meat finishes up cooking. Now I'm gonna leave that there for just a little bit and stir every few minutes, but while that's finishing cooking, I'm gonna chop up one zucchini, two stalks of celery, and then pour those into my Instant Pot with my meat and my onions. Now I also chopped up two cups of small potatoes and about two cups of carrots. On top of that, you're gonna add about one teaspoon of chopped up cloves. Um, you can use whole cloves if you want to. Then you're gonna add one can of diced tomatoes. Now I'm putting those in now because my saute button is still on and I need some liquid on the bottom of my pan. All right, I'm gonna just mix these up a little bit and then continue adding more things. All right, so right now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and three cups of tomato juice. Next, you're gonna add one can of dark red kidney beans. Now these I had rinsed and drained so they're ready to go. And then one can of cannellini beans, the white cannellini beans rinsed and drained also. All right, then you have one can rinsed and drained of green beans. Now, as you can see, my pot is getting really, really full, so just be careful as you're stirring. Now you're gonna add one cup of the little tiny minestrone noodles. These are my most favorite and my kids love them. You can add different noodles if you want to, it's totally up to you. So you're just adding one cup and then I'm gonna add about a cup and a half to two cups of beef broth. Now I don't wanna add too much more because it's gonna overfill. So put your lid on, make sure your knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Now you're gonna cancel what you have going, so you're gonna cancel the saute button, then you're gonna push pressure cook or manual. Now you're gonna go up to six minutes. That's gonna cook your noodles and your vegetables, everything else. When it's done, I let it release on its own for about 10 minutes or so. You can do a quick release as soon as it's done, but I was running some errands real fast. All right, now we're gonna open the lid and see how it is. Oh, it is perfect. The noodles are done perfectly. Everything is cooked all the way through. Now, here is the hard part. You have to mix very, very carefully. Now, if you have an eight quart, this recipe is perfect for an eight quart, but a six quart will still work. All right, I need some more liquid in there, so I'm actually gonna add about one to two cups more of beef broth into my soup. Now, if you noticed, I didn't add a lot of salt and pepper. Um, you can add that sparingly, or you could put it on your table, and they can add it to their own bowl of soup. Now, I like to serve this recipe with breadsticks and salad on the side. It's a perfect light dinner, and everyone is going to love it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get a new Instant Pot recipe every single Monday. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!